सो एज देयर इज थमनेल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द फैब क्लासिफिकेशन सो लेट मी टेल यू दैट वट इज फैब क्लासिफिकेशन सो फैब क्लासिफिकेशन मीन्स द क्लासिफिकेशन विच इज डन बाई मेनली थ्री कंट्रीज यू कैन सी हेयर दैट देयर इज थ्री कंट्री लाइक फ्रेंड अमेरिकन एंड ब्रिटिश मीन्स दीज थ्री कंट्री give their participations in this classification and they three these three countries decided that uh, the leukemia mainly leukemia i will tell you what is leukemia so leukemia may be divided into in this th- six parts okay so let me first to tell you let me f- tell you about the leukemia that what is leukemia leukemia is a morbid condition characterized by the wide spread hyperplasia of leukopoietic tissue okay leukopoietic tissue is um, the tissue which is depend on the leukocyte okay when in a body leukocytes become decreased very less in amount on that time that condition not less actually this is the higher condition when the immature leukocytes are increased but the mature leukocyte decrease in number okay so on that time this leukemia happens in normal human beings as not in normal human if a normal human being is suffering from this thing like he doesn't have the mature leukocytes and he only has the immature leukocyte so on that time he may be suffer from this leukemia disease okay so now come come on another thing that leukemia is of two types okay acute leukemia and chronic leukemia you can say so today i am only tell you about the acute leukemia actually this fab classification is done only for acute leukemia okay so that's why this video is only about the acute leukemia so acute leukemia is also of two type okay first is myeloid acute myeloid leukemia and second is for um <coughs> lymphoblastic acute lymphoblastic leukemia okay so the acute uh, this is a series of leukocytes maybe you aware about the life cycle of the leukocytes okay so by this we check this thing that it is myeloid or lymphoblastic okay so acute myeloid leukocytes mainly occur in adult okay and the acute lymphoblastic leukemia it's mainly happen in children which is of less less than 15 years old now now i am going to tell you about the six classification of this thing okay as you see here that it is divided into three types and what are their features as well okay so first is myeloblastic in myeloblastic we can see that this is a immature okay immature leukocytes so only there will be you can see the blast cells blast cells. so do you know about the myeloid series that whole life cycle that how leukocyte mature first they, uh, let me tell you about this thing okay firstly after that we can come here <clears throat> so that we can easily understand these things now firstly i am going to tell you the myeloid series so in leukocyte maturation firstly there will be a myeloblast series after that promyelocytes after that metamyelocytes then band cell and at end there will be a mature cell which is a segmented cell and segmented cell of Uh, how many types you know about it yeah they these are only of three types neutrophil basophil and eosinophil which we call as acid acidophil as well right okay so now come here back blast cell with few no granules means we can see that there will be some blast 90% of the leukocyte are blast cell blast cell means the first stage of leukocyte maturation that was a myeloblast okay yeah and there will be any only 
the few cell you can see the 10 percent which is of mature cell okay and in this you will see as well as your road this is also a diseased leuco leukocyte okay now now come on the second one there is myeloblastic myeloblastic stage so in this stage you will see that uh, there will be 30 percent of blast only and there will be some maturation beyond the promyelocyte means when you come on the second stage blast cell this is the first stage of maturation and the promyelocyte it is the second stage of maturation okay after myeloblast there will be promyelocyte right so maturation it's happen only this amount and at and there will be some abnormal neutrophil you can see okay so this is come under the type 2 now come on the type 3 promyelocytic in this you will see that there will be hypergranular promyelocyte okay means you will see the higher amount of granules and mainly there not this much of amount but in this you will see that there is very much amount of granules okay and you will see the faggots as well and you will see the bilobed nucleic nuclei okay means the nucleic nucleus which which has in the cell this will be of bilobed okay and you will see the hypogranular variant means hypergranular as well and hypogranular as well means yeah uh, means uh, maybe it will have the much amount of granules and maybe it may have only less amount of granules. means there will be no normal amount of granules okay so this type 3 is only based on the granules now come on fourth this is myelomonocytic okay in this you will see there there will be 30 percent of blast cell okay myeloblast cells and then there there is some evidence of granulocyte and monocytic differentiation means you will see some difference you know that uh, leukocytes are of four type mainly they are they are these are two types granulocyte and non-granulocyte okay in granulocyte there will be there will be neutrophil basophil and eosinophil and in non-granulocyte there will be uh, lymphocyte and monocyte yes yeah so you will see some evidence of differences like what are the differences between the granulocyte and monocytes now come on fourth fifth type okay fifth type is monocytic monocytic this is only based on the monoblast monoblast means monocytes the immaturation of monocyte i, I told you right now that uh, non granulocytes have two types lymphocytes and monocytes so, so this is only based on the monocytes so you will see some monoblast here pro monocytes and monocytes 80 percent monocyte cells okay a and b 80 percent monocytes okay means this immature cells of monocytes you will see okay now come on the last these are the erythroleukemia in erythroleukemia there will be over 15 percent of erythrocyte cell often bizarre okay myeloblast with azure root means with leukocyte you will see some red blood cells as well means some breast cells which is not in useful okay so you will see these red cells with leukocytes but it must be pure in common way it must be pure okay so but there is no pure leukocytes so that's why it's come under this category so this is all about the fab classification i hope you understand it betterly thank you so much to watch my video